Remarkable yet faceless. Today I would like to share with you the story of the remarkable lady Ratan Kaur, who is unfortunately still faceless in Sikh history. While we do have a very fine miniature painting of her husband, Tara Singh Geba, who was the leader of the Dallewalia missile, one of the 12 Sikh missiles controlling territories in the modern day districts of Ludhiana and Jalandhar. In 1807, Ranjit Singh crossed the Satluj with territorial designs on his mind. He was well on his way to establishing his empire and had plans to annex the territories of the remaining missiles and the Muslim principalities of the Punjab. Tara Singh Geba accompanied Ranjit Singh and took an active part in many campaigns, including the Battle of Narengar, where he lost his life. He was known to be 100 years old. Ranjit Singh came at the head of his army to the fort of Rahon to wait upon his widow, Ratan Kaur. He is proclaimed to have said, waiting outside the fort, Tara Singh was like my father, and you are like my mother. He was also my teacher. I learned the art of warfare from him. I have come to mourn him. But the lady knew why he was there. She made a diplomatic offering of an elephant, five horses, and six lakh rupees, which Ranjit Singh accepted, while his divan, Mokanchand, bribed the kiladar or the gatekeeper of the fort, and on receiving an eye signal from Ranjit Singh, attacked. Despite the treachery of the Kiladar, they were met with stiff resistance. In the words of the English historian J.D. Cunningham, who writes in his book published in 1849, and I quote, The widow of the aged leader equaled the sister of the Raja of Patiala in spirit, and she is described to have girded up her garments and to have fought, sword in hand, on the battered walls of the fort of Rahon. Unquote. The fort with its treasury was captured, and Ratan Kaur escaped across the Satluj with the clothes on her back and her young son. The Dallewalia missile ceased to exist. This is all the information that I have found for Ratan Kaur. This story of courage and resistance is important to me because it runs counter to the usual narrative of women's lives and shows that leadership is gender free. This remarkable woman took the tough decision and stood up to aggression to protect what is hers also shows us that we don't always win every battle. But women like Ratan Kaur have helped build the DNA of Sikh women today and must be celebrated for their courage and leadership.